I was wrong, Brian. I know. But yes, water is drying very fast. And I think by the time Brian and I return in two weeks' time, there will be no water left here. Maybe a small puddle. And then it will not be a particularly productive place to come and visit. Now, on Bob's back, many of you may notice, is a group of terrapins. They are freshwater turtles. Well, as much as you can describe this water as fresh, it's fresh in so much as it's not salty, but it certainly isn't something you'd like to drink, not unless you could avail yourself of a public convenience very soon thereafter. And they are big. Those are really big serrated hinged terrapins. They're probably about, they're probably about a foot, a foot in, di in diameter. They're probably about that wide. So they really are pretty big and quite heavy quite, and they're quite fat too. So I wonder, maybe the younger ones don't make it quite so easily after the water gets dry like this. It's quite possible they get eaten by birds and that sort of thing and that only the really big ones like this get through a difficult dry season. And they're sunning themselves, of course, because it is winter. They don't want to be too cold. They find it very difficult to move when it's cold because they are, of course, ectothermic. In other words, they're cold-blooded. And the other thing they're doing, of, they do is eat off the ectoparasites from the hippo. So in much the same way as you can see the... Well, there's some squirrels alarm calling. In much the same way...